Welcome to MES e-learning channel. The topic that we are going to look at today is introduction to group discussion. Group discussion which is otherwise in short called as GD is one of the most powerful tools for collaborative learning, problem solving and decision making. This involves a structured dialogue and uh, the participants are required to share their ideas, perspectives and they also tend to experience uh, a lot of uh, understanding on the topic on which the discussion is on. What is the importance of group discussion? It generates new insights. Group discussion actually helps you to uh, uh, exchange your viewpoints on a topic which is given because one person's viewpoint may not be the same for another. It also fosters teamwork because participating in group discussion means allowing each other to speak rather than overpowering one's, uh, the other person. It definitely develops your interpersonal skills. And um, group discussion improves communication because uh, as we talk about communication, very important aspect to remember is active listening. So in group discussion, we need to listen to someone without any kind of inhibitions or any kind of prejudices so that we know what exactly we can speak in the next, when we, when we get our next turn. What are the characteristics of an effective group discussion? First one is clear objectives. Participants should have a, a clear, clear understanding of what the purpose of discussion is all about and what is their outcome. And inclusive participation, every member should feel that they have contributed their ideas into that particular topic. So in order to contribute your ideas, you need to have a good understanding, a thorough understanding of the topic without which this cannot happen. And there is always a structured approach. The group discussion should have a well-organized flow so that uh, it looks like a conversation and that it is simple and easy to understand. Roles and responsibilities in group discussions. First of all, moderator. It gui guides the discussion and ensures everyone participates and maintains focus on the objectives. Moderator is someone who ensures that uh, everyone gets their own turn. Participants actively engage, listen attentively and contribute their ideas and feedback constructively. Recorder documents the, uh, this is a person who documents the key points, action items and decisions that are made during a discussion. There is someone called as observer who provides feedback on the group's dynamics and the effectiveness of the group discussion. What are the techniques for engaging uh, participants? The first one is open-ended uh, questions. You can ask a lot of thought-provoking questions which are open-ended so that it gives an opportunity for participants to speak. Active listening, you, when we listen to someone without interruptions, we will be able to give uh, uh, a lot of uh, feedback on what they have spoken. Using visual aids also helps to uh, helps a lot of engagement, like visual aids can be charts, graphs or uh, any kind of diagrams or slides. Overcoming challenges in group discussion. What are the possible group uh, challenges which might happen in GD? Conflict. There is a lot of you know group discussion and debate has a thin line of difference. So at times when conflicts arises in group discussions, it almost becomes like a debate that could be avoided. Time management. Everyone have to make sure that they are within their time so that uh, the others also get uh, equal time frame to speak their opinion. Dominant personalities, encouraging quieter participants to contribute and manage dominant personalities. Uh, staying on topic, with the, when, a, when, a to when a topic goes off track, there should be someone to make people come back to the topic again. Evaluating the group discussion uh, process, participant feedback is very important. Gathering feedback from participants helps to uh, um, assess the discussion. Reflection is identifying the work well and what can be improved, what can, what, what, ha, what are the lessons that are learned and everything. Continuous imp improvement, applying the insights gained to enhance the quality of future group discussions. So that next time when a group discussion happens, certain errors which might have ha happened in this particular group discussion could be avoided. Conclusions and key takeaways, collaborative learning, effective communication and continuous improvement is what we have learned. Collaborative learning in group discussion it is not just about your point of view, it is about the point of view of the participants as well. Effective communication is very crucial for successful group discussion, so which means active listening is very important when it comes to effective communication. When we evaluate and learn via a group discussion, it helps us to uh, lead uh, to continuous improvement. This is the most important aspect of group discussion and thank you.